but these features we have available from 2.5 spring version onwards okay so here you have to add dependencies about 2.5 spring 3.1 i'll add here and must you need to add in case if it is greater than 3 version must you need to add 6 jar files per ioc so one is asm jar file and beans jar file context core expressions and commons logging is compulsory so how many jars 4 5 and one expressions and we left one more core context beans logging expressions and air here is the ok 6 jar files add these 6 dependencies to your class path write 2 classes here <coughs> same car and engine So in car class take two dependencies primitive and secondary dependencies and write setter method set car name set engine engine in engine class write one property private string model here now get a resource and do schema based configurations here in this resource add xml schemas xml namespaces you have to add here so Add this schema. Yeah, here we have P and C, both namespaces. P namespace and C namespaces. So, by using P namespace, you can do property dependency injection, setter dependency injection, and by using C namespace, you can do constructor dependency injection. Okay, in car class, I have two setter methods to inject car name and engine reference. In engine class, instead of using setter method, use a parameterized constructor. String model here. So, for engine class, we have constructor. And for car class, we have setter methods so for engine class we have to use c namespace and for car class we have to use p namespace so here create a bean bean id c car class and class name beans dot car into this car class if you want to inject data use p namespace p colon name in car class how many parameters we have car name and engine so car name you can call p colon car name and you can pass that car name value and to pass secondary type into car class you have to use p colon p 
colon engine hyphen reference engine class reference you must need to pass here create bean id engine class name beans dot engine class into engine class what we have to inject model here we have to inject by using c namespace constructor dependency injection c colon model here so from engine class it will call constructor and from from car class it will call setter methods that's it so without having any property tags we are doing constructor dependency injection and setter dependency injection here easy right compare with that property tags and constructor tags in properties you need to call here and that values you need to pass if it is a primitive type just you need to call that primitive type name if it is a secondary type that secondary type name hyphen reference you have to use load into container class path xml application context ap dot get bin of car c colon print data okay in car class we are printing car name and engine object right so instead of printing engine object print here engine dot get model here then run your client class okay into engine c namespace dependency injection and into car we are doing p namespace dependency injection here okay in case if you have a simple one or two properties you can go through this p and c namespaces instead of using this complete property tags and constructor tags okay and this one is recommended approach and this p and c namespace dependency injection is recommended approach you can go through this okay <coughs> and next to tomorrow's concepts auto wiring auto wiring and life cycle implementations most important concepts okay yeah